a hilariously mad rush to get back here with my coffee and find my chapstick before the song was over. <laughs> Good morning! I'm Havoc. This is my stream. I'm doing Tomb Raider stuff today. Not official Tomb Raider stuff. Officially community Tomb Raider stuff. And... Lily, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Okay. Well, I was going to set up... Just in case. I was going to put a strategy guide on my phone, or a walkthrough for this one. I think I sent it to my phone. There it is. So, usually, when I do these TRLE levels, uh, well, the, the majority of the ones I've done, because I'm going alphabetically, they are 6.06 p.m. Wow. You're almost ready to go to bed. I remember when I was asleep today. And then my alarm went off. But I'm here now. <laughs> so, okay, usually when I do these uh, TRLE things, they're about a uh, two-Sunday affair. I split them in half. I don't know why, but a 45-minute level takes me about six hours. It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> this one's a whole campaign. This one's not a single level. So we're probably going to cover about two chapters, I'd say. Um, and I'm going to pace myself a little bit, because... Three hours of you know banging my head into a wall, missing jumps, and uh, <laughs> it's a good and a bad Sunday all at once. Time zones are almost a crime, aren't they? Try to get like official official league matches going, and everybody's like, "But I'm in EU." Well, I'm on the West Coast, so it's like find a good time and settle on a server where everybody's under 200 ping. Yeah. Okay, this one is Tears of P-T-O-L-E-M-A-I-C. I'll let you all figure out what the hell that says. Because I just want to call it... Pl 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 no, I don't. I, no, I can't say it. I can't say it. Tears of a P-Dynasty. That's worse. Okay. This is my Bigfoot. I've never done a Bigfoot level. Oh, wait, is that wrong? Did I just, was Tears of, hold on, Air of, oh, Bigfoot did Air of Sherebang. That was a good level. That was a level I finished in one Sunday. That was a hard level. It had some very, very tight timing in it. Also, some hilarious uh, dragon commentary about Laura's features. Well, so what I'm here, I'll just show you. I'll show you what I've done. This is this is my current. So to keep myself from getting overwhelmed, let's see here. Capture specific window. Let's make it. Huh? Can you not? Select, all right, it, whatever. Okay, um, desktop. Let me desktop. Display capture. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this is my plan. Apparently, you can't capture the file explorer in Streamlabs. I don't know. I'll look at that later. Not that it's really important. So I just went and grabbed everything that was, or well, grabbed this many. No, it was everything. So 40, 40 levels that were rated 9.0 and higher. Um, and I think this is actually at everything 9.0 and higher, um, if I remember. This was months ago. Um, and I've been going through them alphabetically just so I can keep track of it, adding a Z to the ones I've done. Um, everything's been pretty excellent. So that's what I'm doing. Um, trying to... Agent XP is awesome. I've been enjoying her streams and watching her build levels. She's cool as hell. Um, but yeah. This is just to keep myself from feeling overwhelmed because there's tens of thousands of these damn things. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's 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 my approach to it. I mean, yeah, if, if it's not on here and you want to recommend one, I'll add it to it. But I don't want to, like, come back on Sunday and have 30 new levels. You know what I mean? Just uh, try to keep it manageable. DJ Full, uh, I saw him on, I think, Agent XP stream. <coughs> he was hanging out. 
Actually, no. Um, DJ Full. Yeah, DJ Full follows and hosts me here, doing these. That's that's where I know the name from. <clears throat> yeah, he is. Yeah, he hung out with me uh, like a whole one Sunday. Okay. I was really dragging today. I wasn't gonna drink coffee. And then, uh, well, I needed some. All right, so let's kick this off. We are, we tried the PlayStation controller last week and it was all right, but it was, or no, two weeks ago. But the setup kind of sucked for these games. And um, I wiped out Windows install and got a whole new one. So we're going back to the classic Gamepad Pro from Gravis. Yo. I don't see you wearing drag. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I put on my nice jewelry for you today, Slick. <laughs> Alright, let's kick this one off. I can't wait to get lost. Hey, it's a gesture. I'm in transition between like some old really crappy um, uh, overlays to the new ones here. Oh, interesting. I may have to put a window underneath the chat. I don't love the way that looks in Windows. It looks really good in the Linux overlay, but not in this. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> oh, also, how is everyone doing today? Tell me all about your weekends. Very relaxing weekend. It's been well. I played a lot of um, Overload Teams League games yesterday. When I wasn't doing that, I spent the day um, out in the hammock in the garden, and it was very nice. No worries, Lily. Do what you gotta do. We'll probably be here for about two hours today. Yeah, there is like, um, what was that one that Chili was using? Slick, the, the multi-stream website? Or no, it was Miasmic found it recently. The one where you could watch like 10 streams at the same time and just like change the volume. Or, uh, toggle mute on and off on each one. <clears throat> that. That's a sweet outfit. That is a sweet Lara Croft outfit. You know what there needs to be? There needs to be, like, a website where you can just put in, like, ten streams. And, uh... It just like plays like, I don't know, like index cards, roulette, where it just like pops up a new one every 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, it's going to be amazing. If somebody did that instantly, instantly it will become like meme music videos. Jesus Christ, camels are weird. Just weird. Wow, all right. Are these custom models? They look like they are. They don't... I haven't actually played all the way through um, The Last Revelation, so I'm... <sighs> not sure. 
I think it's the digestive system of the damn camels. They sound like mopeds running milk instead of oil. <laughs> alright, alright. Laura, Sadir, Anya. Anaya. Anaya. What are your plans? Any ideas? Anaya. A good one! I quietly will wait here because I am exhausted. These dromedaries broke my back. I have a good one for you. Dromedaries are tired as well of having to carry your weight. Why not give them some water? Dude, Bigfoot? Bigfoot's kind of savage. Why? I feel it'll be sporty too. Okay. Jurassic Park, there's a the Triceratops, uh, <laughs> in distress. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm gonna start a, start a bunch of rage comments here. You guys, what's your favorite Jurassic Park movie? Which one's the best? Which one's the worst? <laughs> it's been a topic of discussion around this house to, this week. Yeah. The sound of the headlights. Yeah, these are just something. <clears throat> okay, we gotta find where those doors were. Or not, we can just jump around for a while. I didn't think you could. <clears throat> That's not the door. Oh, wait, these are the doors that open, aren't they? It just showed me the other side. Yeah? Yep, naked girl, yep. Alright. Okay, swimming, yay. <laughs> I like how Slick and Fish are not gonna bite on the uh, what's the best Jurassic Park movie. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Man, the first three Jurassic Park movies um, on Blu-ray, their CG still looks great. Um, the first, the first movie um, was a lot of live action, of course, um, and uh, mechanics. Uh, what's it called? Robotics, whatever. Um, now we just watched them all, and oh my god, they all still look great, like really great. <clears throat> Okay, so, alright, I know this is the area that I'm supposed to end up in, but I'm going to go back to the starting area, because I feel like there's just a bunch of stuff there I didn't even look at. There's just, this is going to be a big level, I can feel it. <coughs> Surprises me, this is not a push pull block. Okay, okay, there's a thing I'm going to need.
Yeah? Um... You know, Avatar wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. It bummed me out because the second we started watching it, you know, originally when it came out, I realized we were never going to get the uh, the live-action Fern Gully I've wanted since I was a child. <laughs> Which is probably okay. Uh, but, I mean, I'm happy with anything that has uh, Sigourney Weaver in it. She's my damn hero. Okay. Anything over here? That's a big garage door. Oh, I can get up there. Okay, let's go up there. <clears throat> oh, we've got spooky wind sounds. Camels, that sound is gonna haunt my dreams. This is actually good that we're exploring around right now because of all these doors. Boss ain't coming, yep. Um, I mean, by the time we flip a switch and one of these opens, I'm gonna have forgotten where they are, but at least I'll have seen them. Alright, so it looks like we're going back to the first door that opened up. That's where it was guiding us anyways. Um, and probably swimming through that hole. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the oasis. That just doesn't have that ring, does it? Okay. Unlike some of the TRLE levels we've played, there's actually going to be enemies in here. I don't know what in the world these guns are, though. Check these out. They are, uh, they're a thing. Not the stock ones, that's for sure. <laughs> Suddenly the camel sets up. <laughs> oh, at this point, I'm fine with it. Did anybody else just notice that her ponytail actually came over her shoulder? And look at that. Look at that fucking next gen hair physics, man. When did uh, Last Revelation come out? Was that about 1999? I don't know if this is like the the TRN, like the two rated or level rated next generation. I don't know if this is from that or not. Actually, yeah, I do. It did say next generation in the, um, um, in the files. That looks like a movable block. Yes, it does. But it's not. I've been fooled. Alright. My allergies are... That's a different one. The shit. Are they significant or random textures from the map maker? Hello. Okay, that's probably goes to the same place. I say it every single time I play Classic Tomb Raider. What the shit is happening here? What is going on with this? Okay, it's just pillars, maybe. If I say it every single time we play Classic Tomb Raider and TRLE, if Square Enix does anything, just re-release the first six with a better camera control, and I'll be happy. Like if they want to do the absolute bare minimum, I'll be a happy camera. Cam camera. I'll be a happy camera. -er. <laughs> what a beautiful place, though. Like seriously. Everything's closed. Can't climb up any of those. Oh, look at you. What are you gonna do? You actually look like you're lined up to fall in that hole in the lake. Actually, 
you do? It's a good looking tree. I don't know why there's bamboo in Egypt. I am not aware that that's a real thing. But I might be wrong. Alright, this is a good time for a save file. Because we're going to drown instantly here. Just know it. One thing Bigfoot loves, it's mines. <laughs> I'm basing that off of the other map I played. These are some interesting wall textures. Like, this is obviously like a heating pipe vent machine thing. Oh, there's a place over there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I needed to jump. <clears throat> now wait a minute, is that the oasis we just... No, it shouldn't be, that's a different direction. Oh shit. I hated to have to do that, but they had red glowing eyes, and that's just a no. Probably means it's a good place to save since I got to do that without any damage. Okay, so we have what looks like it's probably going to be timed platforms. Alright. Wait a minute, what was that? That's just like a move. Oh, okay. Two black lines crossing, it seems like. You're really fucking interesting. What are you? Not an interactable thing up there. Yeah, I wonder what this is in the floor. Man, my allergies are kicking my ass right now. 
Even my voice is dropped. This is gorgeous. What an interesting outdoor area. More of these things. I did not even see his ass. Holy crap. This level is massive. Those look like grenades. Man. Hmm. Actually, is there anything in my inventory like uh, journals, notepad? What's here? <laughs> All right. Excavation. Old mines. More mines. Path ore. We have just arrived in the oasis after three days of travel on these hellish dromedaries. Is that what the camels are? Or is that a type of land? I, I'm not sure what that word is. According to Hathor's images on the walls, it seems that the city of the legendary Nimihabai Okay, moving on. <laughs> Built during the, there's that word again, dynasty. Maybe I should consult Anaya to see what is what we're going to do now. According to the legend, Nimi Habai was built during the reign of. Ptolemy? Ptolemy. I'm just making it up now. Although depicted to the English goddess Hathor. Egyptian goddess of Hathor. These are really hard font to read. Holy smokes. <clears throat> Each ruler would have liked to bring a personality note to it. Oh boy. Given the city a mixed Egyptian, Roman, Greek, Art. The secret city would have used would have housed all the treasures amassed the Ptolemy since Ptolemy I Soder Subsequently <laughs> This This font is is awful. Who would do this? Why would you write your font in lipstick? Never sharpen lipstick and turn it into a pencil. Oh god. The remains of many Ptolemy were rep re repatriated. Okay. I'm serious. I can read above a first grade level. I promise I can. This font, just no. No, 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 no. There's no spacing. Okay. The Tower of Knowledge built in the center of the city would house many parchments, many which would come directly from... The Library of Alexandria. Queen Cleopatra herself. There's no space between Cleopatra and herself. None. None at all. Would have studied there is a child in this tower. After the death of the queen, the rumor wants her body. Okay. I'm trying to remain calm about this. <laughs> The rumor wants her body that a Mark and that of Mark Antony be re repatriated in secret. Later, the children of Mark Antony Cleopatra would have reigned over Nimahabai and their descendants before the city was definitely, definitively 
See that I and that V? It's just not good. That looks like an N. Uh, abandoned for obscure reasons. No, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. There was some pretty hilarious typos. Um... In the previous Bigfoot map, I am definitely sure that English is not a first language here. Or oh, that font. That font was rough. Holy smokes. Alright. We are going this way, most probably. Okay. can't get through here. Yeah, okay, wait, I picked up grenades. Probably need to find a grenade launcher and lob that in there. blow up this wall so we can get in there. I don't know why she just can't crawl onto the box that's level with the crawl space, but... Gameplay loop! Okay, so places that we still need to explore, we need to jump back in that water. Keep going around that corner and see what's there. Look at that beautiful set of jumps. Holy smokes. Oh. Well. Consider that explored then. Thank. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get up there. Look in here again. Right, this one had the. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, where was the area that had the climbable ceiling? We did not explore that. Closer to the start, I think. <laughs> Look, kids, Big Ben Parliament. We're just okay, so that was probably. Because 
explore the capacity. Probably just a secret. Every secret matters. Probably, I don't know. It's just not one. Door or push block? Real, uh, not a lot of push blocks out here. Yes, this is a climbable seal. Monkey climb, I guess. Right? Okay. This is just for ammo, it looks like. Okay. Bullets are bullets. Wait a second. Is this... Unless I don't understand how monkey climbing works here. I don't think I can grab that. So I'm wondering if I can jump straight from the corner of this thing and grab that ledge. That was kind of tucked away. I think I can. As long as their head clears here, we might be able to grab that from the side. I'm going to say real real though. There we go. There it is. Look at that. It's like I've played this game before. Which means I can now walk on top of that thing. Yes. Probably. Yes. Mm. What does this accomplish for me exactly? That's a switch. Okay. That door seal looks familiar. <coughs> that was a much longer fall than I was expecting. Right, so it's the same door seal, but it's not the same. Alright, so the thing I need to know is where is the grenade launcher. I'll do it once, once over here, once more over, and see if I can find that grenade launcher. Or switch for this. That seems like the next logical way to proceed. Actually, let's go down here. So we 
Yeah, I haven't gone down here, though I suspect that this is just for, um... Okay. I'm just gonna stop what I was saying there. Pull that. Save while I'm doing it. That is not a lot of time. Okay. <coughs> What? The one? Where does it even go? Sprint. That is just not. Okay, so if I did get to that, where would I go from there? That corner piece? What happens if I get to the corner piece? Try some wishful thinking here. Way too good to be true. Okay. I was thinking maybe I could take this block. We don't think that I can make a jump to that. Maybe. Maybe I don't need to get up two levels. I was kind of hoping I could push that block closer to the platform. Seems like there are no pushable blocks in this whole game so far. Why are you here? You just a thing to be in the way, probably. Well... See, I think that's the jump that needs to take, that needs to be taken. There is, but it's on a lower section of ground, so that jump Plus, there's a thing in the way. Uh, I don't think there's any way to get up here. Yeah, see, it's out of reach. It would have been out of reach if it wasn't lowered. What is up on that ledge? Why does it want me to go there? Is it like a... 
I think I just have to make a bunch of corner jumps. Like, I need to get to that one. Okay. Well, I've got a save file. We're gonna use it. Die, come on, sprint, 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 sprint. Sprintling will help. Sprintling will help. This controller is gonna. Get. Oh no. Are you. Laura. Knock it off. <laughs> uh, so you have to be moving forward before you can hit the sprint button or you'll just stand still, which kind of sucks. <sighs> we all in agreement that... Um, just, just stop wasting time with that particular jump. Um, yeah, well, it will be if I can, if I have time to get to the other one. But man, trying to. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. Go. Oh my god. I have to press forward before I can hit run or it won't work. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see, skip, forward, run. You know, I'll bet. Okay, you can't. Climbing it is the thing that's killing me. I should stop doing that. Okay. Alright. Alright, here's how we're gonna do it. I won't climb it, I'm gonna jump on it. Can't jump while sprinting. You can jump. <sighs> Laura. Can't jump while sprinting. There is a backup plan, by the way. I'm not super stressed about this. Like, I want to be able to pull it off. But this is some, some particularly hardcore stuff here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. If I can hit that corner, I can side flip, and we are up there. And then it's just a back roll and uh, run forward, and we got it. And we'll probably duff it. Like, right there. Like, on the platform. Oh! You see how it works though, right? You saw that like perfect, perfect execution. Holy shit, that was good. Okay. I was smart. I was smart and I saved it. Which means this is just a roll and a run away from trying that shit again. Okay. Was there actually eight seconds left? No, that was it. That was it. I have only enough time from that save. God, if I overwrite this save by accident, I'm gonna just like throw my computer onto the lawn. <laughs> yeah, run away around that corner. 
I think I need the keyboard for this one. I think that this wobbly, um, this is another thing that's screwing me up is this particular thing. It's not a real D-pad. It's just this thing that kind of moves around <laughs> in like a wobbly circle. Okay. End is roll, I think. Yeah. Okay, right, right, right. That's not jump. What's jump? Alt, jeez, okay. Yeah, that wouldn't work even if I tried to grab it. God, it's been so long since I used the keyboard for this. Gotten so used to that dumb little controller. bad. It's pretty bad. Well, there's a fix for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, hang on. Okay. So I haven't actually looked at this. Well, not playing the game, but, but see that right there. The guy, um, very aware that he's created a tough thing. So there are save games to get you past the toughest spots. Um, that's the last resort. I feel like I can make this jump, but I don't want to spend an hour on it. You know what I mean? I am just like so close to making that jump right now. I mean, I know we all came here to watch me struggle. That's kind of the whole thing. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> okay, right, okay, a little more coffee. Shit, just getting to where I'm at right here felt like, like a huge win. Huge win. Because <clears throat> I don't think there's a second to spare here. Like, just there just isn't. No shh. Sh 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's saved so hard right now. Just <laughs> I thought that hop backwards was gonna be it. I thought it was gonna be it. I thought that hop backwards was gonna just Oh man. Hey, that was hard. <laughs> I think I still need to do like a run up and do this one. Load game, yeah. <clears throat> I know the keyboard's probably the way to play this, but. It's just been so long since I've played Tomb Raider with the keyboard. Save. Hey, man, I just. Sorry. I just accomplished a really hard fucking uh, thing that I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to do. I'm really happy. That was a tough one. Probably just climb up over it and drop down the other side. Or walk through here. Okay. 
Please don't be more time shit. I'm assuming it's not timed because there's no timer, right? Does that seem fair? Shoot, we may only get through one level today. It's already been an hour, I think. Yeah, exactly an hour. Okay, so I think I'm done up here. Table flip maneuver. <laughs> I really love her, like, uh, balance when she hits the ground animation. I think I decided that that was not from Tomb Raider 4 and that was added by modders um, in the new engine. But I, I don't really don't know. Alright, so now we gotta go find the door that opened. Wherever that door is, I'm suspecting that there's a grenade launcher there. Yeah, you know, if I only do one level of this campaign a week, um, I'm honestly fine with that. Um, TRLE levels aren't going anywhere. Especially... Was this what opened? Was this it? I thought it was a door, like a... An actual, like, vertical door. Okay. So it was a platform. Alright. So this is the other side of that grating. Oh no. Why, Laura? Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. What's wrong with you? Yes, that is where I said this was. Uh, so this is what I opened? What the fuck does that do for me? Am I blind? Or is there nothing here? Right? I did. I didn't think it was a floor hatch. I thought it was a, a vertical door. I got trolled by you. <laughs> Still don't have a key for that. No, and I don't have any explosives yet because I'm still looking for the. Uh, okay. Still looking for the grenade launcher. Which I'm assuming I have grenade ammo. And I'm assuming that's what I need to bounce a grenade into that room and blow up the sound. TD. Boxes. Now, this. No. This was open already. I just noticed the big med kit up there. I'm sorry, I, I read Gates. Um, Gates, no. Not that I'm aware of. Oh, I forgot I can do this. We should utilize that more. 
You forgot about the camels, right? Camel triggered. Did we not climb? We saw a med pack up here, right? We did just see that, and that was a thing. Oh, Lord. No, that wasn't from here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Sorry, my sinuses are just on fire right now. Well, that, okay, so that, that grate that was in, if you're talking about the grate that was in, talking about the grape that was in the water I can't fire anything underwater except the harpoon gun and I don't that isn't gonna get us where we need to be plus I don't have it so it doesn't matter <clears throat> but the guns don't fire anymore that is not what I meant to do shit if I talk to a camel and it lets me in, I won't even be mad. We don't think it's the door up here, do we? I'm assuming that if that's the one that it opened by the water, which it seems like it did. No, that one's still closed. That there's another door that opened somewhere that I gotta find. So we'll go. Ugh, all right. These are all closed. That gate is just the other side of, of this right here, uh, where I just came up from. So let's go all the way around to the other building where the TNT is and see if something opened up over there because I honestly can't remember. Okay. Because there is a lot over here. Stomach starting to make the noises of the camp.
replace brick wall. flips in the water. Oh, shit! There's a key right here, man. There's a key. Alright. Alright. Hey, fish hands. Welcome back. Puppy duty. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting a dog. My wife and I both are. Just, uh, we don't want to have a dog and two truly awful cats. The cats, pretty much, we kind of live as their hostage around here. No, I think we talked about that in a stream recently. I, I can't remember. I know I talked to talked to somebody about it. I mean, I'm always talking about terrible cats. So I just met a dog. Or maybe it was over on Boggle's stream. We were talking about dogs. You know what was cool about that? I have no idea what opened. <laughs> It was in this room, though, so I think it's actually this right here. Yeah. Sometimes cutscene, sometimes no cutscene. Starting to wonder if I should, if I need a different controller for TRLE. I mean, the PlayStation controller, the PlayStation DualShock 4 was pretty okay. And this one's essentially, you know, a PlayStation 1 controller, but this pseudo D-pad is kind of terrible. You guys ever seen what these guys do? Um, the, the gamepad, Gravis Gamepad Pro? This, uh, this gamepad does one of the coolest things. Like, nobody makes anything this inventive anymore. But they come with these. Hard to find one of these that was still, that still worked. But you screw that into this D-pad here, and it becomes an analog f uh, fight stick. So you set it on the desk like this, and then you've got, can't really see me do it, but you can, you know, essentially do this and do, like, fighting games. And this was, you know late 90s early mid 90s seriously cool idea here it was really really hard because this screw right here is plastic and the majority of the time when you find these shoes it's been broken off inside the thread hole the thread hole yeah neat piece of tech I, I collect joysticks and uh, game pads, just all kinds of weird stuff around here. Okay, so I can climb up here, nothing up there, there's a switch, looks like this is a hallway. Kinda. That's interesting. Yeah, nobody makes anything that um, creative anymore. Yeah. The, the game that I played with my Steam controller that I thought was kind of like perfect, and I was like, I understand what this is. It... it you don't ever want to use it with a game that has, you know, full analog controller support, like full analog sticks. Um, but I played um, the original Painkiller with it, with the touchpad as aim, and like, you know, you hold a button and you can do the, the gyro aim. 
and I thought that was perfect. Um, Pro tip on that game, you need to limit that thing to under 200 FPS or there's a bridge that'll like slice and dice you when you walk across it. It gets like a physics and starts bouncing so fast it destroys your character. <laughs> That's probably the only thing I remember from that game, honestly. But yeah. No, I the Steam controller is really cool, but I kept finding myself using it for things that didn't have aiming. Like, I'd just be like, oh, I'm going to play Rocket League on it. Like, that doesn't use the right analog stick at all. You know? So I think that one was kind of a miss for me, but... spot on the floor. I looked like three times. I did not see what that was about. We'll go there. <laughs> Behind... Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I remember that now, yeah. Thanks. Did they even show that in the cutscene? I did not see it. That must have been like the very edge of it, the corner, maybe. There it is. Okay. Desert crabs. <laughs> the uh, sand lobster. Hopefully, none of that is uh, used as derogatory terms anywhere. Hopefully. God, I don't even know anymore. Oh, there he is. There he is. I appreciate that there's health bars for every... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let me in the cart. Come on, now. Is this, this is not one I can ride. dropping it. No, okay, can't. I got a feeling there's gonna be a cart ride though. Fire, not more uh, sand lobsters. Hopefully the switch fixes that problem, because it is a problem. Oh, 
really interesting. Okay. That goes back to that time platform room. Which is terrible. Nobody wants that. I really expected that switch to cut off the fire. But it doesn't. So wherever those doors opened, there's probably gonna be a, um, a time sequence back to the fire. What? Wait, 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 wait. Was that door at the end of the... Was there a door or was that all brick? Maybe that was all brick. I need to flip that switch again because I don't know really unsure about where it was. <clears throat> I hope that it will show me. some tracks. Wait a minute, this is actually right on the other side of that, <coughs> that thing we opened, which means there's a uh, med kit right there. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so we're... Gosh, we're going to backtrack pretty far then. Try to figure out what what was open. Yeah, that was way too high. That nonsense. You goober! Come on now! Come on now!
That was the, the key that we used to open that thing. Yeah. And there wasn't anything else in there. Or wait, no, okay, so that key opened this, that thing opened the... the whatever. Okay, so we're going back. Gotta go back to the beginning. that ever opened. Ever. I don't think that there was any Sorry, I just like rolled my eyes so hard when I heard that sound start. There wasn't any tracks or anything up here. Beside you, nothing. Okay. There, there wouldn't be any minecart tracks in here. Okay, let's just reload. I don't want to go all the way back. You know what? Let's um. We have a load right before that switch. We just gotta kill some scorpions. <clears throat> Come on. I really do appreciate the health bars though. That's right. Efficiency. I'm just gonna pick up all this stuff. Now we're gonna save and then we're gonna flip the switch. I'm gonna figure out where the hell that door is. It's probably at the end. Like the only place we haven't really looked is at the end of the, uh, the timed platform area. It may be actually at the end of the time platform area. I mean, that would make sense why this was here. Look at me, I'm a big dummy. There it is, right there. <clears throat> yeah, I think at this point on, we're probably gonna run into more of those uh, rock lobsters. There we go, rock lobsters. Which looks rusty. Hmm. I think I'll have to use something heavy to push it. This thing? The guns? I see what we're doing here. Yes, I do. Okay. This this switch? no idea where that was. Unless it must be in this area. Oh, is that it up there? No. That 
that's the thing the switch is probably going to open. I know I saw um, when I was just seeing how long the, the guide was, I saw that there was a switch you had to hit with a minecart, and I'm assuming it's this one. That seems to line up. Yeah, this is, uh, I hear you, I hear you. This is tough stuff. Oh, hey, thanks. Thanks for the follow. I need to resize that um, animation. That was really blurry. I mean, I've got a cart here. It doesn't look like I can interact with it if I even try to jump near it. Yeah, I actually, I actually thought you had followed already too. Thank you. Yeah, I need to refine those a little bit more. And we can all thank Chaz for finding the source of them from that, uh, whatever that Final Fantasy game is. Something heavy to push it. What? Like, let me, let me, hold on, let me go try to actually push it without. Hmm. I don't even get the no. Because I suspected it was a minecart, but I would also expect there to be like a slant leading downhill to it, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's just flat. Okay, wait. Is there actually... No, stop. It's not a movable block. So far there have been zero movable blocks in this. I have no reason to believe that it's... Those barrels. It can't be anything movable past this point because while there's nothing there, um, you can only move things along a flat surface like this as far as I know. This is obviously the button we gotta press. Hey, if anybody else sees it, let me know. Yeah. Flip this switch again. So we, we still haven't found that damn door. That was a one time use. Alright. Let's flip that one again. There wasn't much. I don't even think there was a scorpion in here. something heavy to push it. Okay. Everything's closed. Okay, 
where are you? Okay, it's back outside. Yeah, no worries. No worries. I'll probably be here for another 20 minutes. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna finish this level, whatever that takes. I expected to get through two levels today. I'm kinda off the mark a bit, but. Okay, so we're going back outside. In either the second or third area. First being camels, fourth being um, where I'm going to have to blow up with the, uh, the TNT in the box. This. This. Okay, that thing that I was like, whatever this is, when we were headed back towards the, um, the TNT box. how long we wandered around without uh, looking down and seeing that key and that place that opened up. <clears throat> have to hold. There we go. Have to hold crouch. You have to turn around and hang backwards. I do wonder how much damage those uh, would cause if one got a hold of me. Not enough to find out. What purpose? Excuse me. the end of the coffee. For those wondering, I'm drinking coffee with a straw because I don't want it in my mustache. That's a really pretty, uh, fine, actually. Pretty, uh, pretty clean cutout. We're not getting up to that. <coughs> Open a new level. This is the plane crash. Oh, 
Okay. Let me, um... Give me a second here. So... <clears throat> Oops. I broke everything. It's all ruined. Curiosity is getting the better of me here. I'm just going to see where we're at. <coughs> okay. This, all of this right here, was what we just did for an hour 40. It was like nothing, right? Okay, revisit the ruins and desert. Revisit. Ruins. So this has backtracking. Are they? Does it? Is it like? Do they have like the level and then another version of the level after this one, or is it um? Like, Half-Life, that kind of, like, the ability to go back into the previous level. I don't, I've never seen anything like this in a <clears throat> classic Tomb Raider or anything. At least not yet. So, okay. Yeah, look at this. They just go back and forth in this chapter. Until. Jeez. Well, we saw this right here. This right here is chapter one. All of this is chapter two. I'm not doing this today. We're doing this next week. I mean, so there's some conversation in there, and there's also some puzzles. Sewer puzzle. Okay, we'll save the sewer level till next week. Alright, Slick. Yeah, I'm going to call it quits here, too. Um, I'm probably just going to make a save file right before that cutscene. That was the flyover, so that uh, we can start with that. Oh, next weekend. Yeah, this was longer than expected. I did not realize how long this next part was going to be. And that's like... What is there now? Six. That's a bonus level? Okay. There's a lot to this. We're going to be doing this for a couple of weekends. Because usually what we've been doing is like a single level, not a whole campaign. I just don't have the stamina to go, you know, like over three hours. And this feels like a good spot to split till next weekend. I'm really proud of that sequence of jumps that I managed to finally pull off for that time platform. That was tough shit. That was really tough. Okay. <clears throat> what is... We're just going to edit some stuff here quick. For the uh, for the one hour streams. Just gonna hop over here to the webcam. Oh, you know it's okay. Alright. Uh, we gotta change the file locations. I've been moving stuff around on my on my hard drives. everyone's plans for today, huh? I'm hoping to spend some more time in the evening. 
I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take a shower, then I'm gonna go hang out in the living room before yes. it goes to fishing room. While I let files move around on the hard drives. Okay. So what we're doing here, we're doing Windows 95 week starting tomorrow. I'm really excited about playing Hellbender. Favorite demos from Windows 95. I've never beat the whole game. I've only played the first level, but I have the whole thing now. And, uh, I'm really excited about that. Um, if you guys are not in my Discord, there's a link right below this video or in the About Me section, I think. Um, please come hang out there. We've been having a lot of fun here lately talking about this stream project and just general shenanigans. I know DMAC should show up. I got a friend that. All about the word shenanigans. He loves it. It's like major part of his uh Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm just yapping now. Um But yeah, I'll post highlights there, that kind of thing. It's a pretty simple one. And you can totally just shove it down at the bottom and put it in on mute. Won't even be offended. Schedule on Discord. So we're looking at the soonage. Soonage. Oh I've been awake for three hours. I really have. And I drink coffee, but I just I can't do it. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna figure out what we're doing for the next week. Um, all right. First up, we're gonna play Kane, which is a free spin-off to a game. something else. What the hell is my taskbar? What in the, come on. What, what is this? Look, look, what, 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 what? This is why I use Linux. This is why I prefer Linux. <laughs> Not that this stuff doesn't happen there. I just, um, I just like to blame things on Windows. Okay, we're gonna do the DLC for Rage. Let's put that on Friday, because we're gonna be, we're gonna spend more than the one hour on that. I'm just gonna make that a full play. This will open me up to being able to play Rage 2 finally. Yeah, cool. And Terra Nil is something I saw on itch.io. Let's put that on Tuesday. Basically, if you, if you haven't tuned into the one hour stream, um, this is where I have a lot of games. Like, a lot of games. More than I'll ever be able to get to in my lifetime because, yeah, poor planning and little self control. So, what I'm doing is I'm playing, trying to get through at least one hour in all the games I own. Um, and that's the point of the one hour stream. So, that's at 2 p.m. every weekday. Um, Pacific time, America, U.S., whatever. Um, and that's so that's what I'm doing. Sometimes I'll play longer than an hour. Sometimes it's so bad, I only play for 15 minutes, and I go back to something I've been working on, like uh, Chasm the Rift or um, Loco Cycle. This is another one we need to finish. I was doing a bit of the long, the original, the longest journey beforehand, but when I reinstalled Windows, I lost my save files. Which is a super bummer. Huge bummer. Okay. 
it, it does seem like a lot of these games on the backlog are old, but that's kind of the nature of the backlog, is they're games that I haven't gotten to yet. Many years. Okay, so I just added Neoverse. I don't, that's not my kind of game. I think that's like a card. And remember me. Oh. Um, I just put one on next. Okay, we're gonna t we're gonna push off Kane. I'm gonna make a backup in case something goes wrong for. Windows 95 stuff. Chasm. Can't do ZPC. I have not been able to get zero population count to run on a modern system. Oh god, just a ton of Windows 95 games. All around the place, just everywhere. Excuse me while I look around the office for the games. Oh, there's actually a new version of Hover that, that shipped with uh, Windows 95. They put it up on the website. Or a, a website. I'll have to find that again. We can definitely have some nostalgia there. That was that bumper car game that shipped on the Windows 95 disc, Deadly Tide. These are all backups um, in case something doesn't work. All right, Deadly Tide is the one I was trying to find. Yeah, okay, so. Windows 95 week is happening. Hellbender will be my 95th stream, like it says there. Which, man, I've almost hit 100. I believe, so Rage the Scorchers next Friday. Not this coming Friday, but next Friday. That one is going to be my 99th stream. So we're going to do a full play there. Um, I am trying to narrow down what I want to do for the 100th stream. But I think it's going to be a game that I've already played a lot. Just, I don't know. Because I'm thinking about doing uh, the Australian Blade Kitten. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh. Or, I could play Dark Force 2 Jedi Knight. I'm going to put it on the Discord. I'm going to put it um, up to a vote, I think. So... If you're not part of the Discord, come join the Discord. We have fun in there. Lots of sarcasm. Lots of dry humor. Not many, there's not many channels in there. Like, it's a pretty simple Discord. Okay, I made the schedule. I've advertised stuff. And I think I'm going to sign off. I'll be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. Pacific, for the one hour stream. Either. It's going to be a good one. I'm super passionate about this game. Like, I'm just going to be smiling ear to ear the entire time. And Jillian Anderson's going to be talking to me for the, through the ship's computer, Eva. Or Eve. Yeah. It's going to be a good fucking time. Hope to see you there. I hope you all have a great Sunday. Evening, afternoon, morning, whatever. Alright, take care. Actually, no, wait. I'm going to find somebody to raid forget to do that so I'm gonna go to the end screen here and then I'm gonna hit a raid or actually let's find somebody to raid first I don't have a taskbar how the hell am I supposed to get to the web browser? Oh, man. but I caught myself there always nice to raid a friend
Oh, we're definitely going to raid the Bearded Bobble. Hell yeah, we are. Bearded Bobble. New, uh, new friends. Alright, so let's do that. It's only got one viewer anyway. manager great right channel weird boggle looks like he's playing Tomb Raider Legends so that'll be the perfect transition all right let's do it love you guys have a great evening I'm probably gonna hang out in this one too for a while